Hello everyone, my name is Ashley and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be sharing a pin haul slash a mystery pin unboxing with you guys today. So last uh, earlier this week actually I did go to downtown Disney and I did purchase a few pins I actually didn't think I was going to be able to get my hands on so I'm really happy that I found them there um, And I can't wait to show you guys what I got and then of course we do also have a mystery pin box to open so That's gonna be really fun as well So we're just gonna go ahead and get right on into this video so I can show you guys all of these really wonderful pins Okay, so I think what I'm going to actually do is just do close-ups of the camera of all of these pins just so you can get a really good look at them because they are super beautiful. So, here we go. So, the first two pins I got are from the 65th Anniversary Limited Edition release. So, this is the one for the Mad Tea Party and you can see it has down here in glitter, it just says Disneyland 65th, what does it say? Uh, it says Disneyland 65 Years of Magic. That's really cute. And then these pins actually do have moving elements as well. So on here, um, the teacups actually uh, move. If I can get it to move. There we go. And I think this one moves too. Yeah. And these are uh, the teacups and then this part with the Mad Hatter. That is a pin on pin elements. These are really nice pins. And they are limited edition 2000. Okay, the next pin I got from the Disneyland 65 Years of Magic or the 65th Anniversary um, release is this Jungle Cruise pin. So Jungle Cruise is one of my favorite attractions. Oh, I didn't even mention Alice in Wonderland is one of my favorite movies. It's also one of my main pin collections. That's why I purchased the Alice in Wonderland one. But Jungle Cruise I really do like as well. It is one of my favorite attractions and I do collect Disneyland attractions. So I thought this would fit perfectly in there. And the slider element or the moving piece is the Jungle Cruise boat. It is a slider element. So you can slide it across and then you see like little, uh, little elephant in the bathing pool. Super cute. I love this pin. So the next two pins I have are from this release. It's a small fantasy land release. I love the backer card of these. And this is the Alice in Wonderland pin. So again, Alice is one of my favorite uh, pin collections, one of my biggest pin collections, and this is gonna be wonderful. I also love the glittery background, it's so cute. And I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be like in front of her ride at Disneyland. Um, it just is like a stylized version of it, I guess. And these are a limited edition as well. Um, it's a limited edition of 1750. So you could have bought the pins like this. Uh, they had a few that were singles, um, and they also had a box set which had the singles, the Alice Wonderland, the Dumbo, and the Pinocchio. Then I also think it had um, Peter Pan and Snow White. But I didn't, I didn't get the box set. I only just got a couple of the singles, and this was one of them I got. And here is the other single that I got. It is the Dumbo pin. This one is also super glittery. It is him like in front of his, uh, his ride here. And then they have the Casey Jr. train in the back. Just kind of like how it is at Disneyland. I really love this this pin as well so pretty and again dumbo is another one of my big uh well not big but it is one of my growing um pin collections so i'm really happy to have this one yay this is an open edition rack pin um this one is it is a double it is obviously lilo and stitch and they're in like their little hula gear um i actually got this one for my mom if you watched my last video then you may remember that i am putting together a lilo and stitch pin board for my mom so this is going to be going on that pin board super cute and then just the final single pin that we have here is the trick-or-treat cuties um it is the Winnie the Pooh and Piglet. So we've got Winnie the Pooh dressed up as a honeybee and then Piglet is dressed up as a uh, butterfly. I love the glittery orange background. And then their little like trick or treat pumpkins are um, like a rubberized element. So they do stick up off of the pin a bit. And then Pooh and Piglet are also um, a pin on pin element. So it's got like a nice 3D effect to it which is super nice. This is a, such a gorgeous pin. I loved this whole little set that they had, but I collect Winnie the Pooh specifically, so I thought I thought that this would be perfect for my collection. And then this is a limited edition of 5,000. Okay, so those are all the single pins that I purchased. Now we can go ahead and move on into this box set. I actually did purchase, I forgot to show you guys, 
I did purchase four of these little, uh, what are they called? It's a small Fantasyland, like limited edition um, Alice in Wonderland box set. I will be showing or opening these up in another video. So stay tuned for that. Anyways, the box that we're opening up today is the Disney Hugs box. This is one of my favorite pin boxes ever that they have released. If you have not seen my giveaway video, which is still uh, live, or, or the giveaway is still going, I'll go ahead and link that for you guys, but I am giving away one of the pins from this set. So I'll go ahead and show you guys a close-up of the box and the options that we can get. Okay, so here is the box. It is just this Disney Hugs Mystery Collection. There is 10 pins in total. And here are all of the options. So the one that I really want is this Lilo and Stitch pin. Again, that I would want that for my mom's Lilo and Stitch pin board. Um, anything else would just kind of be gravy. So I guess maybe the Pooh Bear one. I already have this one, but I feel like that would be a good trader. Okay, let's see what I got in here. Please be Lilo and Stitch. Okay, first blind bag. I didn't get scissors, so I'm just going to go ahead and open this guy up. Oh, cute. It's Hero and Baymax. I love Big Hero 6. Um, and I think that this is such a cute pin. I really do like Baymax. I don't collect Baymax. This is probably going to go into my traders, but it is really cute. I'll show you guys a close-up after I open up the second pin. So please let it be Lilo and Stitch. Fingers crossed. It's Pooh Bear and Christopher Robin, and this is one of my favorite pins from this collection. I adore this pin so much, so hopefully I can trade one of these two pins for that Lilo and Stitch pin. But let me show you guys a close-up of these really cute pins. So here we go. We have Winnie the Pooh and Christopher Robin. I also never, don't think I ever noticed that little honeybee up there. That's a really cute detail. But I just love this pin. They just love each other so much. They're best friends, and I just adore it. It's so cute. Okay, and then here is the Hero and um, Baymax pin. I also really like this one. Baymax is just such a sweet character, and I just love the whole, you know, like, relationship that he has with um, Hero, and it's just so cute. But this pin is just adorable. And I actually don't think I ever opened up this pin before, so pretty cool. Alright guys, well that was everything for today. Pretty quick little video, but I hope that you enjoyed seeing these pins. And I'm really happy that I got to open up this box, because again, one of my favorite boxes that they've ever come out with. Love this. Anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. Please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you'd like to see more pin content from me. And as always, if you have not already and you would like to, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. I also did mention it briefly, but I do have a subscriber giveaway that is going on right now. So again, I will make sure that video gets linked. Um, and if you want to subscribe and enter the giveaway, I have some really nice goodies that are, uh, uh, are being given away. <laughs> Anyways, again, thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope you have a magical day, and I will talk to you next time. Bye!